I had this dish first when I was on a college trip to Europe. Pork schnitzel, warm bacon German potato salad, and pickled red cabbage. Wow. Ooh. Hi there, recruits. Hello, Hi, Chef Chef. Hello. Bill Coleman, do you speak German? No. Well, you'll be eating German in a bit. Yeah. This is one of my favorite dishes on the planet that I have such an emotional attachment to. There's a lot of things to work on here, but we're gonna take it step by step. But let's start with our potatoes. We're gonna gently simmer them, starting in cold water. This is the German style, which is mustardy and warm. These red potatoes, we're gonna quarter. I like to have them, just like that, stack them like this, and then have them again. Super even. Now we're going to the sink cold water. Aim for that top burner right there. Crank it. Go for three tablespoons of salt. Again, potatoes drink up salt. So this is gonna be the first layer of seasoning we put on there. Mix it up and leave it. We wanna simmer them. Right. Why do we start it in cold water? It's because if I put this in boiling hot water right now, it's gonna overcook the exterior of the potatoes before the interior gets cooked. First step done. Let's pickle some cabbage next. One of the very few purple foods. Ready? Pass it around. Feel how heavy that thing is. It's like the heaviest vegetable on the planet. A lot of water, but a lot of flavor, and a little goes a long way. So if we tried to pickle this entire, I mean, we would need a gallon of vinegar. Be smart about it and just use half. See this kind of root? Create a stable base. Turn it, flat surface. We just, there's this kind of, see that guy right there, that seam running through? Make sure, right, we got a stable base, but hold on to it. Slice down, right, and just, you gotta work it, right? Great, we're good with that. Now it's all about how close you can cut this, right? We're gonna look to shave this. Mm. Really slice, use that knife to slice as thin as you can, shaving it. Right now, as we get to this end, now you can either turn it for a more stable base, start shaving that way, almost like we do with the onion, remember? But right there, that's a plenty. We're gonna pickle in a glass bowl. So this is ready to go. Let's measure one cup of water, two cups of white wine vinegar, very flavorful liquid here. Bring it to you. It'll sizzle for a minute. Put it back on there just to get the process started. Uh-oh. Boom, shut her down. Now let's together find a gentle simmer. Not this, but like this, gentle. Two tablespoons of sugar right in this pickling liquid. Shake it, dip it right in there. One tablespoon of kosher salt right here at your station. You got your pink peppercorns. Now you got your, what is this? What, what, what kind, what, uh, what of a garlic is this? This is a- Bulb. Boom, bulb. Put a little pressure on it. Yeah. First, we cut off that root end. Now, we're just gonna lightly smash it and put it right in there. We're not gonna chop it. Cause I just wanna infuse it with that flavor. And we're gonna let that come to a simmer. And as soon as it comes to a simmer, we're gonna shut it off and then add it to our fresh cabbage. Boom. Let's start the base of our German potato salad. Bacon. But I like to have it first, put that aside. And we need to cut these in a lardon, which are just literally little strips of bacon. That's a lardon. Okay. You see that? Sorry, I missed that. There you go. Thanks, man, appreciate it. And slide your knife. You gotta really slide it. Just slide, and it goes right through. This is pretty robust bacon, right into the cold pan. Bacon loves being started in a cold pan. You'll get it crispier, perfect. And you'll, you'll start to smell. We got our potatoes. How do we know when our potatoes are done? Try that, tell me what you think. Ooh. Freaking perfect. Now let's drain our potatoes. Put it back in here. All right, while our potatoes are hot, watch this. Some apple cider vinegar, one, two. Our cabbage is literally done, our potatoes are cooked. This is rendering, let's slice this onion. Again, we take off the stem end first, we turn it, then we cut right through the middle, through the hairy end. Now over our bowl, peel that first layer, just like that. We're gonna do something that we haven't done yet, which is cut off the hairy end. Cause this is a slice, not a dice. Slice, slice, slice. Just gliding that knife through. 
holding your knife just like that. Right, we're gonna melt these bad boys in bacon fat. That sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. And then we'll start pounding that. We're gonna fry it. Let's put our oil in here. Yeah. Crispy, crispy bacon. Gather it, tip it, scoop it, drain it. Okay. Lay it, like spread it. Now, our onions go right in there, in that warm bacon fat, all that flavor. There's some salt in there, but I'm gonna hit it with a pinch of salt just to help that process out. Medium low for this. Now let's pound some meat. Okay. Does anybody know what kind of pork this is? Mm. Mm. This is a tenderloin of pork. So this is what you wanna use for schnitzel because you want that bite to be buttery. True schnitzel is about an eighth of an inch thick. So we're gonna aim for like a 20 degree cut, right? Right in the middle. So you got this thicker piece, do that same thing, right? You got your plastic wrap, and you got the meat mallet. Oh. And what I'm doing is almost like pounding and pulling, right? Just gently, like this. Till it's even. Let's check it out, shall we? We're not smushing it too much. So this is the guy we're gonna use. Let's pound it again, use the same plastic. You know, just simple. Kind of like moving it out, right? You kind of see the fiber, so you don't wanna like go against the grain too much. Make it somewhat even to that. It's not gonna be the same shape, right? Two totally different pieces. We, two totally different shapes we started out with. This is so much fun. Look at that. Gorgeous, right? Schnitzel. All right, take off our gloves because we're gonna start moving this around. Look at that. All right, this is gonna be the easiest thing we do today. We're gonna take some lingonberries. Have we ever had a lingonberry? Mm hmm Right? Swedish pancakes. <laughs> um, we're gonna make a, just a quick little jam. It's a nice little sweet, sour bite. It works, especially with the squeeze of fresh lemon. So, about two cups of that, okay? Frozen, quarter cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar. And we're just gonna bring this to a simmer for about five minutes till it's like thick, and as it cools, it will thicken even further. Pour it in a deli cup, just let it cool off the heat. Now this is one of my favorite things on the planet to do. Feb station. Feb station. Does anybody know what Feb might stand for? Feb station. F-E-B? F-E-B. Flour, flour, egg, egg breadcrumbs. Bread Boom. So make sure you have your flour, your egg, and your breadcrumbs. We have our wire rack cheat tray right here, right? Ready to accept the breaded product. Before we do that, what should I do to this meat? Salt. Salt, salt. Right? Let's let it rain. Not too much. Look at this. Look. Right? Just like a nice, even coating. Flip it with the tongs. Do both sides? Both sides, from the top, let it rain. Oh. And then the pepper, just a little bit, not a ton. Let's feb it up. What goes first in the feb station? All purpose flour. So the eggs, I think two will be good. One tablespoon of oil in the egg, whisk. All right, and then the B, the breadcrumbs. Smattering of this, shake it. And we're gonna season the breadcrumbs now. One pinch of pepper. Shake it up. Now we can feb it. Now we're febbing. Now we're febbing. Flour first. The key to great breading is shaken. This is not like chicken fried steak, you know what I mean? You don't want all those craggly bits. Now we shake it, gently. Firm grip, shaking. Now, right into the egg. This, just one flip, right? Right in there. Turn it, let it go right in there. Shake it, drain it. Let it drain. Now, into the breading, even. Now we press down, just like that. Take your time with this, guys. Shake it, when you, when you bring it up, shake it again to reset it, do it again. Seasoned breadcrumbs, right? Seasoned meat. We're gonna finish this guy, coat it, we're gonna put this method to the test, guys. Breading anything, guys, this is the standard Feb process. Great, 
right? How excited we are. Now this is the fun part, right? One, two. Deglaze in that hot pan. One, two tablespoons. Whole grain mustard. Now look at this. So we got this warm, beautiful elixir. We're gonna start with a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. Then we're gonna take, remember, half of that bacon. So it gets in there. So let's cut some chives, shall we? You're gonna bunch them up straight, just like that. Sliding, you see how I'm sliding the knife, rocking it back and forth. So let's take half of this, one, Two. Let's check our temp. So we're looking for about 375. Don't ever splash it in towards you. Let's do it away from you. It's like full submersion. Move it around a little bit. Shake, just shake it a little bit, just so it's not sticking and you're not, but you're not disrupting it. So that's that's kind of the color we're looking for right there, guys. A little gentler this time. I'm feeling like we are perfecto. Now look at that puffy schnitz. Yeah, that was about two minutes a side say. Okay, we're cleaning our stations before we're plating. All right, grab a nice kind of scoop of this and get that bottom, man. So we got some height, right? Lovely. And we got puffy schnitz. This is what I like to do now. Grab a lemon too. Um, put it like right there. and then that beautiful pickled cabbage. Like this to me is like the slaw, right? With the barbecue. Don't forget about that crispy bacon there, guys. Schnitzel for days. Perfect. Perfect. Yummy. Okay.